all the people associated with the show had stayed up all night to scramble to move the things around to be able to pay tribute to Whitney. So it was, I, I don't think I've ever been part of anything quite as immediate as that. That's kind of what this show and the entertainment business is all about. When trouble hits you, you hit back. As your host, it's my job to keep the Grammy show moving. I dreamt about hosting the Grammys for years. I watched all the great Grammy hosts throughout history. I know that this was a really special moment in my life and um, something I'm proud that I was a part of. What makes me smile when I think about that night is, one, the love. Woo, that was, that was in the room, in that huge venue, to see Everyone still go on and celebrate music and each other and Whitney with music. That's what the Grammys is. That's what the Grammy represents, you know, and and that's what made it a true Grammy night. We'll always love you. I thought Jennifer did an amazing job for Whitney. And I also had some flashbacks about the things she's been through in her life. And it was pretty powerful seeing someone who had been through so much out there giving love to someone else who was no longer here. It was a powerful moment. And I think she was exactly who should have done that. And I will love you. I thought Jennifer Hudson just killed that song. It really focused a lot of people's grief and shock, and it was a really affirming celebration of music. And it was a, it was kind of like a, a spiritual church meeting, you know, in that in that house. And I, we knew everybody was watching, and it was actually couldn't have been a better thing to be doing at that particular time than coming together. 